are all the ingredients. I have diced chicken. I put um, seasoning in it. Uh, fajita seasoning is what I season it. I marinated it since last night. Then I have diced onions. I will saute it with the onions. There is my olive oil here being heated up. And I have the enchilada sauce I already opened. And I have cheese and the torti tortillas. So let's all get started. The olive oil is already preheat in this pot. I'm going to um, saute the onions and cook the chicken. The diced, diced chicken that I'm marinating already. So let's do it. Okay, now the onion is soft, so then I'm gonna add the chicken, brown the chicken. You don't cook it too long because um, it's a chicken breast. Chicken breast cooks really fast. So. Since it's already being marinated, it's been 24 hours ever since I marinated it. It should taste really good. Actually, this is a lot for my. This is a lot of chicken, actually. So. Maybe I will not use all of it. Let's add the chicken, uh, the enchilada sauce a little bit. Just enough to have it coated. You can already start smelling it. If it's not for the kids, I would add a little bit more of green in there, but it's for the kids, so... Now I'm gonna add the cheese. So you'll have the cheese in it. I'll put cheese inside and out of the enchilada. Then you can turn off your fire because it cooks so easy. Since the kids love a lot of cheese, I'm just gonna put more cheese. You can put a lot of cheese any way you want to, if you would like. Now it's a little bit um, thickening now because of the cheese. You know guys, I don't follow recipe. Whatever my head tells me how I'm supposed to do it, that's the way how I do my cooking. So now it's time for us to wrap it. Okay, let's um brushing the sauce here. So it will not stick to the bottom of this. Again, it's just all common sense. When you're cooking, you can just already visualize the how it's gonna be and how it's gonna taste so you can just you are in control of your own tasting of your cooking so as you can see I don't follow any recipe this is my second time making it I have had enchiladas maybe twice because my favorite really for Mexican food is just beef fajita and al pastor and all that. So anyway, 
you might see oh my gosh that's a lot of sauce but anyway that's just the way how I like it okay now we're gonna make the this I make it big and it's up to you however like you however you want it then I'll put cheese in there again too much cheese and uh, you overlap it it depends if you like it big you like it small you are in control of your own enchiladas see There you have it. And then you make another all the way until whenever you want to stop. Okay. Put some cheese. Again, if you're not a cheese cheese pers person like me I wouldn't put that much but this is for my kids so I had to put more Again, you can make it big or small. You are in control. There you have it. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like after I wrap all of the chicken in there. And now we're gonna put the leftover red enchiladas sauce on it. So. This is just one can of enchilada sauce and two chicken breasts and eight flour tortillas. I use the wheat. I use wheat flour tortillas so it's a little bit healthier. And now Again, I did not follow any recipe. This is just my own invention of enchiladas. I like everything that sauteed with uh, onions, so that's how I did my my chicken. I sauteed it. I first I marinated the chicken, and then I diced the marinated chicken. I marinated it overnight. The chicken breast. And then I dice it, and then I dice a fresh onion, and I sauteed it first. And then, while I was sauteing, I put the, a little bit of this enchilada sauce and cheese, and that's it. Really. And now, I wrap the chicken that was sauteed already, and um, wrap it with the tortilla flour and. Put the um, enchilada sauce that was in the can, the leftover, and basically just put them all together and now it's ready to bake. We have 350 Fahrenheit and there it is. And I think we can wait until it gets melted and it should be ready. Because all you have to do is melting that cheese and that's it. Because the chicken is cooked. So uh, just let the let it bake there maybe 30, 20, 25 minutes. But we'll keep checking. All right, guys. Guys, 
Folks, it is looking good. Our red enchiladas, red chicken enchiladas looking really good. So let's take it out. Looks so good guys and it it is very easy to make so here you go bye thank you for tuning in let's try and serve it and um, see what it looks like So that's what it looks like, guys. Hmm. Dynamite. Thank you for watching. Tastes so good. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. And if you're not have a high enough level, then you always have to wait for night to go up to go up and do quests. Dylan, have you tried that yet? It's good. Like it? Mm -hmm. You can cut it in you can cut it so it'll be easy.